Alex Jones here reporting for some Twilight Zone level news. I live miles from where this is happening. Rob Dew, reporter from InfoWars.com, just called me about an hour ago. I went and looked it up. It's all true. There's big ranches right outside Austin in Bastrop County, Elgin, Texas. The government told them they were planting grass that was GMO. It produces its own cyanide. It's what they call pharmacological crops. Most of the corn we eat, bugs can't eat it or they die. But it's safe for us to eat, they claim. World News with Diane Sawyer. Good evening today. Three big news studies were released and all three had one worrying conclusion. Common pesticides in water and food on farms may be linked to a lower IQ in children. All three cite exposure while still in the womb. And one expert said to us today, these studies are an alarm that signals before now we have underestimated the risks. Jim Shudo has been taking an in-depth look at the new evidence and what it means for us today. Jim, good evening. Well, Diane, what struck me most about these studies, particularly as a father, is how many ways we're exposed to them in our own kitchens. They're on fruits and vegetables in commonly used home gardening supplies. They've even been detected in drinking water supplies, and the studies found the effects on children can be devastating. Really At seven years old, children are already full of big dreams. What do you want to be when you grow up? A judge, gymnastics teacher, a basketball player. Often even more than you expect. I would like to teach first grade and be a swim coach. But these new studies show how some pesticides could someday bring those dreams down to earth. The studies by Columbia, Berkeley, and Mount Sinai measured commonly used pesticides in pregnant mothers, the first to study their effect in utero, and then seven years later tested their children's IQs. They found that above average exposure to the pesticides was linked to a drop in their children's IQs by as much as seven points. One of my concerns is why we're not in a position to identify these kind of hazards earlier before we've already exposed a couple of uh, generations of children. The pesticides with a complicated name, organophosphates, are found in a whole range of simple everyday products. Fruits and vegetables, in pesticides used to control cockroaches in city apartments, and in home weed killers. They've also been detected in the drinking water supplies of several American cities. Some have since been banned, but are still detected in the environment. These studies are just the latest to find a link between pesticides and children's development. A 1998 University of Arizona study of children growing up near Mexican farms using the pesticides asked four and five-year-olds to make simple drawings, a common measure of IQ. Here are the children who were not exposed and those who were. The difference is dramatic. Scientists call this another alert that more needs to be done to protect the most vulnerable from dangerous chemicals. What I like is everybody wants to be more than one thing. We just always want to be it so we can help people. The best thing you could do at home, Diane, is to wash your fruits and vegetables, and, and thoroughly, even using a brush like this. And we put a list up online, Diane, of the vegetables and the fruits you have to be most careful with. All right, Jim, thank you. I want to bring in Dr. Richard Besser now, because you've been tracking the pesticide issue for some time, Rich. What do you make of this? Well, you know, Diane, these three studies are concerning. There's a lot more work coming on this. But I think pregnant women really do need to do what they can to limit their exposure to pesticides. And as, as you know, there are concrete things they can do as, as Jim was showing washing scrubbing your fruits and vegetables will, will help uh, you can peel them that's very helpful discard the outer leaves of leafy vegetables because that's where the pesticides are going to cling and for those things that you can't wash that you can't peel like berries think about buying organic because they, those won't have the pesticides and you were saying even with meat that's right fish? for your meat your poultry your fish take off the skin and trim the fat because that's where the pesticides will really con uh, concentrate concentrates in the fat right that's right the skin. Yeah, if you take that fat off, that will help. It's now that the government is holding meetings all over the country for making announcement, a debt waiver for 30 million farmers. The amount of the waiver, 10 billion euros, a measure long expected in the Vidarbha region, where more than a thousand in debt farmers commit suicide every year. In the villages, the dead are still mourned. A few days before this announcement, a member of this family swallowed some pesticides. It's the third suicide of the village. The government had already admitted the possibility of increasing the number of farmers concerned by these measures. In 10 years, almost 150,000 of them, all over India, have committed suicide. 